Hello my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little sunflowers. How are you on this fine Thursday evening? Well, night. Um, I hope everything with you is copacetic. As for my day, my day was lovely. I rest most of the day and I've been studying these Liederman cards. So I'm going to do a quick read with them, but baby crone, if I need your help, you'll just give me a quick meaning. Okay. Yes. All right, because I'm still learning them. Give me a, I still need about two weeks or so to get it down. Um, nevertheless, this is about Jennifer and Ben. Ben, Benifer. And I'm so sad to see that they are going through something. It seems like it's really, really bad. And then, you know, Jennifer Gardner is in it. I, I don't know about all of this, because if I'm married to you, why is your ex-wife all up in my judge. I, I can't. I mean, uh, see, I guess I don't understand the need to marry, the need to have a man. I mean, wanting a man and all of that, you'll do anything. I, I just don't get it. I mean, you would think that these women have everything. And it just seemed like, yes, but who am I without a man? It's like they have to have that eye candy or something. I don't know, but I, mm, I don't even think I'm trying to even remember. Have there ever been a time where I've seen Jennifer without a man? Because then is a piece of work, really. I'm, I'm really disappointed in him that he is such a broken piece of glass, you know? So with that being said, let me do a quick reading on them and let's see how this is going. Well, I see a polar bear and I see, ooh, I see uh, uh, clover and I see time. What I see here with the polar bear, I see that Jennifer is working as hard as she can to really, really be there for Ben. Do whatever she can. She's a strong person. You know, those bears rep represent where they hold you down. They're powerful. They, you know, wherever you see the bear, you know, it's about success. It's about winning. It's about being on top. And you know he's going to protect or she's going to protect what's hers. Here also, you see the clover. And this clover lets me know that there is fleeting this is a moment of a moment. She's at a moment right now in time, right now in time where she's doing her best to fight for this marriage. It's like she's got a moment of time. It's like this is her luck. Her luck is like 15 minutes. And that's all she has is 15 minutes to get and get her husband back. That's just the condition that they in. Does that make sense, baby clone? Yeah. It's like she's doing everything to save them. Everything, everything. But she's got this clover, but it's a quick moment. It's quick, it's quick, it's quick. 15 minutes and time is running out. And if she doesn't win him, I think she's afraid that she's going to lose him back to Jennifer Garner. Let's see what the tarot have to say. Because here, it just seems like her luck is running out. Her luck is running out, and it's time. She's strong. She's fighting for him. She's fighting. She's fighting. God knows. Oh, Lord. Let's see. How you think this is going to work, baby crone? It will be very interesting because they're both Leos. Phew. She loves him, clearly. That any time, see, yeah, I mean, here we have the high offense. You know, that means praying time. Here we got, ooh, temperance. What we have, temperance, what do we have again? We have just trying to have patience, just losing. It's like her back. This is like a back turn. So this is like patience never gets tired, but it's like, 
Sometimes we are human and we can only hold on as much as we can hold on. And like I said, her luck, that energy that she had, her time, her patience is running out with him. Yes, you know, it's like she's ready to put down the sword. She's ready to say, look, I am done. Like, like I can't take no more of it. Like it has pushed me to the point that I'm dealing with another woman. I have to deal with my man. I don't know about you, baby, because you young, but that would be a lot for me to deal with. Cause that would make me feel bad because here my pain man is in pain and I can't make him feel better. Another woman. How can I not be nothing but jealous? Yeah. Here we go. We see him looking back looking back at what he had. And then if he goes back to Jennifer, guess what? It'll be the same old stuff all over again. I told you, Jennifer, Jennifer Gardner wasn't over him. Yeah. Here we see another card. This is the number 10. Yeah. He just feels defeated. He just feels like defeated. And he just seems like a man. He don't know what he want, but we're going to make it up. Yeah. There it is. There it is. What's this, a seven? Yes. He seemed like somebody don't even know what he want when they come down to women. He got two J's and don't know which one he want. But he know he going to have to do something. And I can't even imagine. I don't even care if you do have uh, uh, children together. You shouldn't be all in that woman marriage like that. And she probably called him because here we see a throwback. And so Jennifer had him before the other Jennifer, but Jennifer Garner was married to him and have children. And that's the advantage she had. And last, what is this going to be? Had him looking out in the world with a whole lot of thoughts going on in his head, a whole lot of noise going on. If he can quiet the media, quiet his mind, he'll be all right. So what I see in this, I see that very little action. What do you mean? It's like, it seems like things are still like, like nobody is really moving. He's moving, but looking back, really like not wanting to go. And you see, everything is pretty much on a still level. No one is really moving. Everything is pretty much still. A little bit of movement. Other than the night of horse. And that is because he has to do something. So I don't think, I think they're in a place where they're stagnant. That time, stagnant, where, you know, you just come to a place where either we're going to make it through or we're just not going to make it. And it just come to a point where you just done did everything you can and you just waiting to see if this last dose of medicine going to work. And this is where I see. So I see it like here. It's a quiet time. But nobody's really moving. Baby clone. Did that yes. make sense? Yes, Because it did. that's what I get out of the overtone of this. It's like Mama Bear is like feeling a little bit defeated. Yeah, I feel like I feel like here I see one, two, three, three cards where her back, where the back is turned, where somebody is saying. I'm, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I'm done. And it's like the other part, it's like they don't want to go, but they just don't know what else to do. What's your question? It's like, a, it's like the quiet before the storm. Oh, okay. That's it. Mm -hmm. But she's still fighting, but her fight now is, is at a par. Like, like, I, I just don't know what to just, just hurt, just broken and disappointed. Like she done cried out. Like, I feel like Jennifer Lopez has cried literally 
out, that she's at a par. And it's not that she hates him. She knows that he's broken and she just doesn't know how to fix it. She probably felt like if I marry him, I'll be his savior. I can help him because it was working. But then... Baby girl, him and his problems, man. Sometimes, you know, you just, you know what? That's what you call a fixer bear. She couldn't fix her bear. She fixed it, but it broke again. <laughs> so what do you have to ask? Yes, my first question is, what does Jennifer Lopez see in Ben Affleck? Well, since this is a card of enlightenment, Maybe she likes the fact of his chill nature when he's chilled or that he could be spiritually deep, maybe, or that he wants to be, or, or maybe, maybe she just, how he could keep things at bay. I don't know him, but from what the hangman come out, it just makes me think, let's add another card to it. Yeah. It just makes me think, yeah, that, 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 that he's that he can be fiery and, and fun and, and sexual and know how to separate himself from the fray and just be individual, just be himself. Okay. And I think that she loves that about him. And yet, and yet at this point, it's like that little kid is in trouble and they are just trying to save him because apparently he's a really good dude. He just, got lost in the system as so many of the Hollywood elites do. Next question. Fair enough. My next question is, does Jennifer want to stay in this relationship with Ben? Yes, of course she does. She's, she's moving on this thing. She's moving with the past behind her. She doesn't want this marriage to end. She didn't get married for that. No, she really wants it. She, that's strength. This is a seven. This is strength. So this is strength. She's putting all of her strength into him by any means necessary to save her marriage. But she's, 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 she feels as though she's up against time because it's weakening her. She's, she's getting weakened by all of it. The wife and it's just starting to be too much. What else? Is Benifer happy, Ben and Jennifer? Well, no. No, they're not happy. <clears throat> when you see this black horse, this black horse lets me know that everything in their family is just like up in that tree. It's not solid. It's not stable. I mean, he's... God, instead of having his gift in his hand, he put his gift up in the tree and the horse is moving. But you see, he's not in a hurry to do anything. So that just lets me know that just that Ben is, a, is at this point. He's not really putting everything into his marriage. Okay. He's just not. When I say thing, I'm not talking about finance, I'm talking about himself. Because I think he's just lost again. And I truly don't think he knows what he really, really wants. I think, I, I don't know, I think he's just got issues. I, I don't know. I don't want to make it about him per se, because he's a complex person. And I don't, he's like, he's got a wall up and he's not allowing me to get in it. But I'm feeling tempted to just go through the side and just pull out but I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to keep it neutral. So go ahead. Yes, my next question is, how does Jennifer Lopez feel about Jennifer Gardner? She feels like she's a, the knight in shining armor, like she comes in to save the day. She got the answers. She knows the fire. She's like, look, whatever you can do to help him. But if, but do she like that? No. No. It's like, here's that pentacle showing up again. It's earthy. No, she doesn't like it at all. Absolutely. No, she doesn't like it, but she's willing to do whatever it can to help her husband. If that's what it takes. It's not going to take a little too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Are they intimate? 
Um, it seems like right now, it doesn't seem that they've been as intimate. It seems like intimacy is a burden right now. It just doesn't seem like they're in that head space, according to the cards. It just seems like it's a burden. It's like it's not in that head space right now. It's too much stuff going on, too much hurt, too much disappointment, too many tears, just not in that space right now. Yes. Are like, the children affected by this? Yes. Yes. I definitely see a terrible sword. I definitely see the air is thick. I definitely see that this is not good on the kids either side. Yes, this is n not good. No, this has affected the children, his children and her children if they are around. So no, this is not a good thing. This is, this is not good. However, I'm getting a feeling that they don't want to break up. Am I right about that? Yeah, see, here's this one again. I'm feeling like they don't want to break up. But, but Ben, do you want Jennifer back? Do you want Jennifer, your wife, your first wife? Do you want her back? Do you want her back? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Do you want Jennifer? Do you want Jennifer Lopez? Do you want her? Do you want her? Do you still want her as your wife? Well, this could be arrows of love or it could just be arrows, arrows of moving on. Let's find out. Is that arrows of love or is that just arrows of moving on? Well, this is the queen of what this is the king of wands. So let's get another one card. Yes. You seen what it said, right? Yeah. Because if it was a queen, but it was a king. So let's see. Here's the magician. So yes, what I see here is yes, it's moving on, but after pulling another card, it's like, yes. His arrows of love are moving on. They are not as they were to Jennifer Lopez, but he's still not quite sure. He's still not quite sure if he's all the way in or if he's out. It's been really, really rocky roads and and bickering and not talking and it has really affected the children with 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 this 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 has not been good at all for all around it's never good to see your father unhappy your mother unhappy your father drinking your father married another woman you can't seem to get along and i don't think it's fighting i just think that it's just not cohesive okay you have another question? Yes, my <clears throat> yes, my next question is is Jennifer willing to work it out for Ben? That's all she's been doing from day one. You see, she at the top. Like she said, I started from the bottom, now I'm here. She's like, I've been working. She loves this man. This is, this is embarrassing. She doesn't want to. You know how many people thought it was a ridiculous thing? She really thought that they had it, that they could rekindle. She regret rushing in it, don't you? Yes, she thinks she celebrated too soon. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Yes. What does she see in Ben? That's kind of a hard question. Oh. He was fun. Oh. He was fun. He was fun. He he loved her. They 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 had a great time together. It was fun. It was it was fun. But this now this has not been the single man. This has been now that the father. So he's like in a worse condition now than what he was probably twenty so years ago. So does she regret? Do she regret remarrying him? You got to tell me the truth about this. Come on now. You got to tell the truth about it. Do she regret it? You tell me where to go. I'm going here. This way I'm drawn. Right here. I'm going. Do she regret marrying him? Half and half. Okay. Somewhat. Days. Mm-hmm. 
days that she does. And then there are days she doesn't. Times she regret it. And then there are times she doesn't. Does that make sense? Yes. But is she ready to divorce him? Is Ben, is, is, Jen, is Jennifer ready to divorce Ben? Is she ready for that? Is she ready? Is her mind ready? Because she had to get her mind ready for this. This the king of cops. And baby, I want you to tell me what you think about this king of cops. Okay. What I tell you about it, I think this king of cops, I think that she's ready. Oh. I think she's ready. I think that she had enough. I think that, you know, you know, is I think it's just too much for her mentally. I think that this is her last ditch effort to try to save her marriage. Okay. What do you think? This is yes. the king of cups. What do you have? What I have. I want your opinion. Yes. Yes. The way I see the king of cups is. Besides the fact that it's somebody that has a lot of power because mm -hmm. it's an authority figure. Mm -hmm. We also see the King of Cups as someone who <clears throat> has to learn to get along with other people. Mm -hmm. Because they can be emotional. Mm -hmm. Very emotional because it's water. Yes. So maybe learning to work with their emotions and not He's let very it, emotional. Yeah, but very not let it emotional. ruin your relationships. Yeah, his emotions, because it seems like whatever she's offering, he doesn't want it. And um, it seems like, the, you know, when you got birds, that means there's a lot of naysayers talking, but it's just somebody up. It just seems that there are splashes going on. It just seems like this is just not a good thing. He just seems so uncomfortable and unhappy in his situation right now. And I don't really think it's Jennifer. I think he feels bad. Do you feel bad about doing this to this woman? Yes. He says he feel bad about it. Yes, there's a fight. He feel like no one, no one win. It's like against two women. It's like he feel, he, he feel like, I, he feel like the winner because I got this woman helping me, this woman love me. And he's in the middle. So, yes, he's looking at it, but he doesn't feel like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. He doesn't feel that way at all. He feels bad. Like after a fight, you got a little bruise banged up. You don't feel good even if you won. You don't feel happy about it. He doesn't feel happy. Like I said, he's going through a very emotional time. And right now I'm feeling Ben saying he's not fit for anyone. He's admitting that. He feels as though he just need help. You know, and I get the sense that he go through some really, really dark places about not wanting to, you know, see tomorrow morning. Like he just get some dark places going on and the alcohol doesn't help. It just seems like it makes him more depressed. And I don't know why he is. I'm going to run three cards. Okay. I didn't want to do it. I told you I didn't want to do it. Yeah. This is one. This is one. This is the three. Three of pentacles. I'm going to lay that. This is Ben Affleck. What's going on, Ben? Two. Another one. I can tell you right now what's the problem. This is really going to tell me. All right. All right. It seems to me, as crazy as this sound, it just seemed like he had financial issues. Oh. Earthy issues. Earthy. I, I don't know what they are, you know, it, like it, 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 like earthy, like he just want to just stay away from money. Like it's like, like, like money is his world, his business. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm closing out. But I, like I said, I've been pondering these cards uh, with him. And what I see, I see the two of pentacles, meaning materialism. The material is the commerce of it. He balances with it. It seems like he's a man with a lot. Like it's financial, but it seems like he has a lot 
But it seemed like, but what his, well, what his substance and his fame, it's like it's burdensome to have to take care of it. And he checks out from it. Like it just seemed like being famous and rich is a burden. That's the best way I can describe this. Like it just keeps him worried about it, thinking about it or whatever, maybe, who knows? But I definitely see that his finances is a burden, you know, and he has much. You see cattle, you see him pentacles, you see here's a bag of money over there. So you see it and yet he checks out. As if to say it's just the whole thing, managing money or whatever, or giving whatever he's doing. It just seems like financially he checks out or maybe work, whatever. It just seems like he become overwhelmed. He checks out. And when he become overwhelmed, he go to his best friend. And we know what that is, right? Yes, we do. But we don't judge. No. We just know he's broken and he really has to get himself together, right? That's that's what I say in this. So, baby Chrome, did that help? I don't yes. want to go into a deep read about him. I oh, really don't. Okay. Because I feel like I could just let me just pull one more card about it. How he feel about living? OK, how, how does he feel about living? Because here it just seems he's stressed out. He go through his drinking is due to depression. And when he drinks, it only makes him more depressed. Here's another eight. Here it is. He just want to escape it all. He don't want to deal with it. He don't want to deal with the children, the money, the, you know, he don't want to lose it. But you know how you don't want to deal with the burden of it all. It's just like he just want to just shoot it away. Get rid of it. I don't want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. It's the burdens of life. Well, it just, just mm -hmm. I just feel like quickly like to know. Mm. Does Ben love Jennifer Lopez? Do you love her though? No, no bull. Straight up. Whatever. I'm going here. I'm going here. Reminiscing card. The same thing that I got with Jennifer Garner. Mm. I guess he's just attached to, to Jennifer. To just to both of them. They both. They both bring something. But I think he's to the point where he just feels as though he's not worthy to be married to anybody. I think he's just thinking that he's a loser, a buster. Like, I just feel like he's just going through this stage where he's just self-loathing. And I think he's just sick of himself. And I think he's just crying out, you know? I just hope that he that he hasn't gone back to drinking and that he hasn't. But even if he hasn't, he still deals with some kind of deep depression. And I'm sorry. It looks like he has gone back to the to drinking. It doesn't even seem like he never really let it go. It's just that when you start, it's like you don't know how to stop because by the time you realize you stop, probably he too drunk. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. You just do it and do it and do it and it takes all your troubles away and your day has gone by and you've been drunk. Next thing you know, you crash out, whatever you do, you obnoxious, you done worked everybody nerves. And then at the end of the day, or whenever you sober up, you feel bad about it. And then you feel bad about feeling bad and then you start all over again. That's what I think. A perpetual nightmare for the people around you. So I hope that if he has started bad drinking, that it hasn't became an overwhelming problem in his life. But I don't think so. The cards are looking like he's definitely under a cloud and the pressure of life is weighing him down. And this is what's causing the problem in his marriage. And this is what makes Jennifer. It's just too much, but what can you say? I, I don't, I don't know. I got to say it. Rich people problems. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. my last question is going to be, what is the future for Ben and Jennifer's marriage? What is the future? You better tell the truth. I'm right here on it. Give it to me. 
tell me. I'm flipping these. All right, this is it. No, uh, it's upside down. And we came full circle. It's the higher. It's the higher fin all over again. So when I see the higher fin, all I can say is they just teeter tottering, just like I said. It say they on that little bit of luck. That 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 this is the last thing. It's like we on time is about to run out. It's like this bear is saying right now. Just just I'm, this is the last I can do. This is everything I can do to try to save my marriage. And if this doesn't work, then it's like it's nothing else I can do. It just look like arrows of love. It's just this is such a travesty. It's such a travesty. And this goes to show you can have all the money in the world. It don't make your troubles go away, do it? No. So with that being said, I see this marriage is in a lot of trouble. Um, they're on, they on clovers right now. A fleeting moment, like 15 minutes, because that's what that card means. It's like good luck, but you only got a short length of time to grab it. And after that, it's over. Why? Because the time card showed up, which saying time ran out. It's just ran out. And this polar bear is doing everything that she can to fight for him and her marriage. And it's just nothing else she could do about it. But if a person wants to go, what can you do? It comes to a place like you have to let them go, just like Jenny Mai did. Jenny Mai, sometimes yes. you just got to let it go. You got to let it go. Look like another love TKO. <laughs> it's sad, isn't it? Yes. It's nothing good about it. I wish them nothing but the best. Prayers going up to them and the family because this is not just affecting them. Because if whatever affects the mother and the father affects the children because they feel it too. So we're just sending prayers up for this broke down family. And we hope that they find peace. And most of all, I hope Ben find peace. Jennifer find peace. Both Jennifer find peace. The children find peace. And that, that Ben gets the help he needs. That he should never ever have to worry about this. That he can get his um, depression. I'm not a doctor. I'm just assuming that's what it appears to be. That everything I say is allegedly anyway. But what I'm saying is I hope that if he does, it seems like he has some kind of depression. And if he does drink or do anything, it just makes it worse. It just puts some more in a stupor. I hope that he finds help and I hope that it stick this time. Sometimes people fall off the wagon three times, two times, five times, ten times, twenty times. I don't know. Sometimes people just spend a lifetime of falling off the wagon, but we just hope that one day he'll get it right if that's his problem. Either way, he needs help and he needs help with his inner being. His soul is vexed and he needs that fix. And maybe in spite of all of it, maybe he has a guilt for being rich and famous. You know, that can come too. Sometimes we have too much and it just affects us. I don't know. I'm just the card reader. Well, I thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this reading on Ben and Jennifer Lopez, one of the saddest marriages out here today. Really. Because of the effort that she keeps trying. Yes. That's why. So with that being said, thank you for joining me on this read, Sunflowers.